video you are going to learn how to use SolidWorks thread feature and its property manager for making threads on cylindrical faces or surfaces. I will show you how to create external thread and internal threads using this feature too. Before going back, uh, what is SolidWorks thread feature too? It is the SolidWorks feature which helps to make threads on the cylindrical surfaces both internally or externally. Let us see how to use this tool to make the threads. For that, you need a 3D model of cylindrical shape to apply this tool. Let's create it. Here I am going to go into a sketch command manager and creating a circle from that I'm extruding to make it a cylindrical shape and uh, I need two more surfaces like this I'm building upon the top face of the cylinder again one more cylinder And again, I'm going to create a hole on this uh, cylindrical face. Here, we will show you the internal threading part. The other cylinder surfaces, I will show you the external thread, thread part. Okay, I created the model. Then go to the features command manager. And from the whole wizard you can select the thread or you can also select it from the insert menu bar the features and uh, thread and this is the thread property manager you have to first select the edge uh, Oh, edge where you want to start the thread that is the thread location the edge of the cylinder you have to select the edge of the cylinder here I'm selecting the edge once you selected the edge according to the options you can see the uh, sketch profile of the thread it's outside it's towards the outside the cylindrical surface okay then uh, you can also specify the start location if you have a specific start location uh, then end condition like three end conditions are available blind revolutions and up to selection the blind you have to enter the distance for or revolution how many revolutions you want for your thread or If it is up to selection up to where you want to make the thread from the first judge to the first I'm selecting that face that will make an end condition for it that much length is there so that it will take time to create generate the preview of the thread yeah here you can see here I am selecting the revolutions for this example and uh, making the revolution count is 10 and next we are go moving back to the specifications like type of the hole here I am taking the inch tab there is another inch die, metric die, metric tab etc options are available you also select the size of the thread and uh, here I am selecting the thread mother that is cut thread two mothers are available cut thread and uh, extrude thread here I am selecting extrude thread because this sketch profile is outside the cylindrical surface so we, there is no other surface to cut if it is if you click on ok it will uh, show an error so better 
extrude thread that will it will make a thread uh, around your cylindrical surface and the next one is uh, the thread option right handed thread and uh, left handed thread I'm selecting the right handed thread it's, you know about that I think so and uh, different views like standard preview uh, wireframe or partial preview like that to see how your thread is uh, thread will arrange in your cylindric surface and click ok to make the external thread this way you can make the external thread using the solid thread option feature 2 okay here you already seen the ex how to make the external thread then you are going to see how to make the internal threads on the internal cylindrical surface okay for that go to the features command manager and select thread feature 2 like I seen earlier we have to first select the thread location the start thread center edge of the cylinder here I am selecting the edge cylinder and uh, you can make the I'm selecting the end condition as the up to the selection and the, the end of the that hole phase one and metric tab is the type the specification of the thread and selecting the any size of the thread Mm, then here we are using as it is internal thread the sketch profile is towards the surface so we need to cut the surface here we cannot use the extrude thread we will use the cut thread for that because it's inside the uh, model and you can select right hand thread or left hand thread as it is seen earlier and click ok to make the thread internal thread yeah it's already created and uh, you can see it's closely here I am also I will also show the section view uh, of the thread both threads yeah and you can see the internal thread <coughs> sorry external thread here okay this way you can create the both internal thread and external thread using the solo works thread feature and thank you friends bye bye